Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a centrifuge. I know you are thinking, Dan, how hard could it be to use a centrifuge? Well, I'm going to show you some of the commonly made mistakes. This is a standard tabletop centrifuge. Here is a temperature control tabletop centrifuge. So this is a bigger centrifuge for bigger tubes. This is not a washing machine, it's actually a high-speed centrifuge. You don't want to mess with it. No matter which centrifuge you use, there are a few things you need to remember. The first thing you need to know when you use the centrifuge is to make sure you use the right size of tube for the right centrifuge. Here is a commonly used 1.5 mm microfuge tube that fits in most of the tabletop centrifuge. Uh, here is a half mil of microfuge tube that would also fit into the centrifuge. But if you use this one, you will have to use an adapter. Uh, so you place it in an adapter like that and use it. If you don't, the tube might break. The second thing you need to watch out for is you have to balance your tubes. So here, since uh, the volume you can put in the tube are small, so you don't have to weigh them. All you have to do is make sure the solution in the two tubes are at the same level. As you can see now, the tubes are not balanced. One of them is at approximately one mil, the other one is at half mil. So in order to balance the one mil tube, you should have another tube which also has one mil of solution in it, like that. Now I'm going to show you how to balance your samples in a centrifuge. We are looking at a centrifuge rotor right now. You have to place your sample directly across from each other. That's how you balance it. Uh, if you only have one sample, you can take a second centrifuge to just fill it up with the same volume of water, then you will have your centrifuge balanced. The third thing you need to do when you use a centrifuge is that you always have to secure the rotor lid onto the rotor, like that. Make sure it's secured, then you can close the centrifuge. The last thing we need to check before we use the centrifuge is to check the setting. Uh, there are usually two settings. Uh, one is time, the, the other one is speed. Time isn't really that important here, but what's most important is the speed. You want to make sure the centrifuge is set at a speed that is not going to break the tube. That's how you use the centrifuge. Just remember, always use the right tube, properly balance your sample, secure the roller lid, and use the right setting. If you follow these steps, you should be fine. But if you don't, the centrifuge could explode. What? It's happened before. See you guys next time.